So, um, can I have a bit of your attention, please? <laughs> And I have my colleagues here with me. So, uh, first of all, thank you for today, everyone. Uh, it was lovely to see all of you, and I hope you enjoyed uh, your time. Um, we have a surprise. Uh, Thomas is going to um, uh, be the one who's going to uh, receive this surprise, but it's actually a surprise for the entire uh, industry. Uh, we bought uh, Star. And, uh, <laughs> and we called it uh, Antlia Thermotitas, which is Latin for heat bump. So now the heat bumps are uh, in the sky. So, Thomas, please. <laughs> it's real. It's real. It's for I real. I thought it was a man. <laughs> I am, I'm really very proud of this team <laughs> because they, they, it seems that they are not intimidated to have crazy ideas. So thank you for that, and thank you for bringing these crazy ideas forward to make the whole industry move. I feel really honored, and I think it is a joint certificate. If I can give a recognition, I recognize crazy ideas to move us forward to accelerate heat pumps. And really, once more, thank you, everybody. It was a great day, I thought, at least for myself. I know a lot about this industry, but I enjoyed myself tremendously and learned still new things. I hope the same is true for you. So. Not even the sky is the limit for heat pumps. I, I, you know, in Germany, you can, you can finish school with a großes Latinum, which is meaning you have studied five years of Latin. I have done that. Nobody taught me about Antlia Thermotitas. Is it masculine or feminine? It's uh, neutral. There you go. Ah, <laughs> right <here. laughs> All right. Well, with that, I think I, I, I'm excited to hand over to you, right? So we want to celebrate the prices, grab a glass, Enjoy the rest of the evening. Uh, we can stay here for a while. And when you go home, I wish you a good trip back, safe journey, uh, no delays, and a good night's sleep into a heat pump future. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas. I, I hope you like the present. So, <laughs> so, well, hi, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed the forum today. I am Irene Geasait. I'm a project officer here at EHPA. And I'm actually here because now it's time to celebrate the most outstanding heat pump projects at the local level of the year 2022. Um, this is the 12th edition of the Heat Pump Award, and it's a... Ooh. I cannot scream that much, I think. <laughs> okay. And it's a very special one because on the first time since 2011, we have received more than 50 applications. So for that reason, I want to thank all of you that participated this year and all of you that will participate next year because we are always looking forward to get to know other projects. I would also like to thank uh, the jurors, the 11 jurors that had a very tough year this year because of that many applications received. Some of them are here, like uh, I see Yusi, I see Alex, I think I saw Caroline before, and some of them that are online, so thank you all. I also want to thank the people that voted uh, for the category that we have online the People's Choice Award, that is to choose the, mo like the most favorite uh, heat pump project. So yeah, now I promise I will shut up and I will give uh, the protagonism to the people who deserve it today. So to present the first category of the night, uh, the Heat Pump City of the Year Award, that it's a category that focuses on projects at a local level with local support, we have Enrique Villamichano. So it's me again, it's me again. <laughs> so we are start? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, I, was looking at, I was looking at this project and it's definitely a really good example of uh, governmental and uh, company cooperation. So in, that is uh, one big factor. And the second part is uh, the very creative part of the project. So then, uh, I think this is a really good opportunity to price this type of, of, of activities. So uh, I have to see there or? No, like it's okay. Um, I'm, the winner couldn't make it today, unfortunately, but they sent us a beautiful video that I hope it can be displayed now. This is a huge honor to win and we're really proud to be considered alongside so many of the great projects.
We'd like to thank the European Heat Pump Association for shining a light on a technology that's going to be a huge part of decarbonising the UK. We have to give credit to Bristol Council and Gorham Homes for conceiving the project and our delivery teams for working on it along with our apprentices. We believe that heat pumps are transformative technology which is playing a key role in decarbonising the UK. So thank you again for the award. So like uh, people from the Castle Park project, please apply for next year and come to Brussels. I really want to meet you. So now to present the second award of the night for the Decar building category for these projects that take place in residential and commercial buildings, we have with us uh, Luca Camoncoli from EDEF. Here you are. And then I, I can hold this for a moment. Okay. Thank you very much. And good evening, Renny. Good evening, Thomas and Savini, all the team, the, the valuable team of, uh, of EHPA. My name is Luca Camuncoli, I'm from EDF. Thank you for the invitation for these awards. And above all, uh, we are, what is important for us, we are really delighted to support, as we have already done, EHPA and above all, Thomas, and their mission to promote its and pump in Brussels. Why this mission is so important? Today, more than ever, we are called to respond to a double challenge the challenge of the greatest energy crisis, crisis that Europe has known in modern times. And the second one, not less important, the challenge of maintaining the commitment and the engagement to decarbonize and dramatically need ecological energy transition. Our future depends on how we are able to uh, deal with this. This is really important. Grow and decarbonization, and we have proved today with all the colleagues who speakers here, are facts not dichotomous uh, for EDF, for us, uh, the electrification is essential and access to the level for carbon neutrality is perfectly online with uh, our credo, it's uh, to build uh, a future without CO2. And this is exactly the case with Ethan Pumps. Ethan Pumps are more and more the best choice for sustainable comfort helping residential, municipal and commercial facilities around the world to eat and cool environmentally, uh, in, in an environmentally correct way. Also lowering energy cost, energy consumption and carbon footprint, what is really important. And this is where the postipuisto, I, I, I hope that the pronunciation is correct, the new circular economic economy solution project presented by our Finnish colleagues from Oil and Technology and the winner of this category comes in. It's a really innovative solution involving a heat pump able of utilizing four different heat sources. Geothermal heat, wastewater, heat recovery, grocery shop condensate and cooling network. A super smart and hybrid solution that through different energy recycling sources make this system really unique. But I stopped talking and I want to tell you any more. I leave the floor to our colleague at Olium to explain us how this wonderful project works. Thank you. Thank you. And now you can come on stage. Like, please <laughs> come here. Don't be shy. And I'm going to give you a microphone. So, from Grace. Are thank you up? It's your moment to shine now. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> what a great moment and uh, pleasure to be here um, on behalf of Oil on the greatest thank you uh, for the association and the industry. Um, this is the first time for us to be here, but um, it's been a long way and uh, I think the future is going to be bright. Um, in this project, basically the target was not to waste even jewel. So there's even in this building, once you uh, flush the toilet, the heat is recovered. And um, this, um, let's say, pilot, piloting always um, requires the people around it. And uh, in this project, uh, we've been uh, pleased to work with the energy company from Helsinki, Helen. And we have here Antti Leskin and also from Helen to say a few words about the case. Yes, good evening on my behalf also. I have only maybe a, a small summary about Ostipuisto and I think Ostipuisto solution sums up or shows 
in practice a lot of the topics we, we've been discussing about tonight. So also from Helen's side, thank you for all. Yes, thank you. So yes, thank you. Congratulations again, and I hope to see more of your projects next year. Okay. <laughs> thank you. So this is not over. We have more awards to give today. So for the category Decarp Industry, which is a category that the name can tell a bit what it's about, it's for projects that take place in the industrial context, we have Christian Strand to present the award. <laughs> so welcome, Christian. Thank you. So this is a really interesting project, and I spent uh, quite some time to dig into it when I, when I got the, the task to, uh, to present the winner here. So it's a Norwegian manufacturer of urban furniture. They decided to do a new factory, so a greenfield. They both shape the building and they also call it the PLOS. Uh, and they set a very ambitious target. They say, we want to be the most environmental friendly furniture factory in the world. So this building is Paris proof. It saves 55% uh, uh, greenhouse gas compared to a conventional factory. It is one of the first buildings to obtain the highest environmental BREEAM rating. It's energy efficiency A+, and is almost zero energy. So using heat pumps and chillers with uh, propane, they produce both process cooling and heating for the production. And for comfort cooling and to heat the building, they use waste heat and combine that with free cooling and heat from geothermal wells. So uh, really interesting. So please, Come on stage and receive the prize. Congratulations. Of course, if you want to say thanks, that is your moment to shine. <laughs> I will, don't give me the microphone, you'll regret that, trust me. <laughs> you want to start first, John, say some words? Okay. I must say we are very proud I and mean, very honored. We, we informed everybody at the company that we were going to receive this reward. Uh, so it's fantastic. Um, we are uh, missing out on something here today. We should talk about refrigerants today. We're talking a lot about uh, how many tens of millions of uh, heat pumps we're going to put out in the market, but nothing about the refrigerants. So I just say the F word is not only fluorinated gases, it's also HFOs. So for every chemicals, it's not anything you want to have. We want the natural refrigerants. So therefore we are extremely proud to have our propane systems being used at the plus in, in Norway. So once again, thank you very much to the association and thank you very much everybody that's here. Uh, the jury that's been voting for us. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's an honor for us to, to win this prize. Yeah, we're going to celebrate. How many of you are going to go out and have some uh, after, after work? Nobody. Nobody's <laughs> going to go after work. This is work. Dinner tonight. <laughs> so thank you very much for coming and congratulations again. Okay. I'm happy that you came. So uh, say. <laughs> so we have two more categories to give. So the next category is Lighthouse Kid Bomb, that it's for the most innovative, like uh, unique heat pump projects. And we have with us Johannes Brugman. Good evening. Thank you very much. My first congratulations to Thomas, to this beautiful forum and uh, the, all the achievements that we got in the last 15 years together. Thank you for that. Um, quite a long time. And I have the pleasure today to present the Lighthouse Award for heat pumps. From my point of view, Lighthouses are really important, like we have this nice building, so the atomium is as well in a lighthouse, and the lighthouse can show a lot of things like new inventions, very good solutions on applications, or also innovations on heat pumps. And I have the pleasure to announce today, as an engineer, an innovation from a Finnish company that has invented a, a system for commercial applications that also is different from the big residential market 
where they achieved a solution where they can combine geothermal and air as a source solution for a special service that they offer to rent for commercial um, companies for only a, a certain time of a period during the construction. And uh, I'm pleased to congratulate uh, Geolo and Track Systems for their solutions. Please come to the stage. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Uh, this is a big moment for all of us. And uh, first of all, my name is Janne Vanhanen. I'm, I'm from Rock Systems Climate Solutions. And together with me, presenting our Keole team, are Nico. Yeah, I'm Nico, uh, coming from Enerus, and we are basically doing design work from uh, big geoenergy systems. Hi, my name is Jaakko. I'm working on Rotatec. We are the biggest geothermal drilling company in Europe. And we are currently working on Finland and Sweden and Norway. Okay, this, this is the kind of project that, that we started with from the empty table. So we, we kind of did have nothing there when we started to create a, a solution and, and, and to be able to do these kind of things, you need a great team. Uh, you need to have the good company where you are, and then you need to have good partnerships to make able to do with these kind of things. Um, there is a lot of things happening which, which are unseen when the project is ready. The development process in these kind of cases, it's a long period. And uh, today we do have the unique movable Keolo solution, which, uh, in a, which gives us CO2 emission free heating and cooling during the construction period. Gelo also saves a lot of external energy and, and creates better quality to the construction process. So there is a lot of good, good things happening. Uh, we have heard a lot of times today that, that the energy crisis and climate change are hitting us heavily. Uh, we also do know that the construction and, and the building materials will generate around 11% of the global CO2 emissions. Uh, part of this can be solved by our Geolo solution, and we will make the world a better place from construction side by side. Uh, our Geolo journey is, is just began, and, and, and I have to say that we are really proud of, about this, this uh, prize and award. And as the, uh, as the Logan goes, Geolo, the long life cycle of property pickings underground. Thank you very much for you all. We do appreciate this a lot. Thanks. Thank you very much for being here today and congratulations again. <laughs> And now um, it's time to give the last award of the night, the People's Choice Award, so the most favorite heat pump project. Um, for that, uh, we have a video of Livio Calabrese from Frasco that couldn't make it today, but still wanted to congratulate the winners. So I guess we have a video. I hope it works. Uh, let me know. <laughs> The winner of this category has been the project Train Thermal System, Broomfield College, Derby, UK. Broomfield Hall Campus is a public college that provides further education in agriculture, equine and horticultural education. A part of the UK government's public sector decarbonisation scheme, this campus was awarded funds to carry out several decarbonisation activities including replacing the existing gas fired boilers with heat pumps. This project was highlighted in the government's decarbonization general 2022 summary report. Utilizing a combination of air source and water source heating pumps cascade configuration to provide 600 kilowatts of heating. 
This renewable alternative to traditional gas fire boilers will save the end users annually 700,000 kilowatt hours in energy consumption and 160 tons of CO2 emissions. So those were the words from Livio. So I want to welcome on stage uh, Louis Rompré to pick up the prize. <laughs> yeah, you're the last one. And here's the awards. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so thank you first to the HPE to organize uh, this nice uh, context. Uh, also, thank you for all the people who vote for us. Uh, we picked that project, but actually there is a lot of those out there from us. So uh, it's a great, gr great example of something that happens every day. And the other thing I have to say, thank you for the company, Train Technology, to really invest uh, in heat pumps. Uh, we used to be known in cooling system, and now we're really leading the way for uh, thermal system and uh, heat pumps. And finally, I would say we have to thank our customer because without the customer, we're nothing. All these projects doesn't happen. So I would say thank you again for everybody who participated. And... So congratulations again. And that was the last award of the night. So thank you again uh, to all the participants, to all the winners, to all the people that came here today to present the awards. Uh, so I just want to like uh, welcome you for the next edition of the Hip Hop Award 2023. I'm very looking forward to receiving your projects and yeah, have a nice rest of the day. <laughs> Thank you very much.